Galileo AI is a UI generation platform that creates editable designs from a prompt. The generated design can be exported to Figma as the app creates editable text and scalable icons or images. There could be some inconsistencies and the generated designs need to be polished, but Galileo can follow commonly used design patterns which speeds up the entire process. The AI can differentiate between different sections or elements, such as headers, footers and cards with icons or images, and even understands the importance of a call to action. The typefaces used by the AI are randomly chosen for each design, but all of them are free and can be found on Google Fonts, which is useful and practical. However, there are some restrictions. With the free account, you can copy some of the designs others have generated with the AI tool, but if you want to generate designs with your prompts, you'd need to use the paid version. In this example, we'll use the free version and take a look at a design that's been generated by someone from the Galileo community. The prompt Asabiani used to generate six mobile screens is App for Merchants to Post Offers and Discounts with QR Code Redemption. Screen showing a list of available offers that customers can browse through. Should include offer details and an option to redeem the offer by scanning the QR code. With this prompt, the AI created six mobile screens that are consistent because they have the same color palette and font. Even though the images vary greatly, going from lattes to pizza and even pantries, the colors and general tone is the same in all of them. The only real issue with this set of designs is the inconsistent navigation. Each example has a different navigation bar, but this is not that much of a problem because once you're working in Figma, you'll create a navigation component that'll have to be copied and pasted into all the screens. We're going to copy this screen in Figma, and then we're going to work with it and see where it takes us. Now that we exported the design, we can see that the AI has used different weights of work sans throughout the design, which is great as this is a typeface available for free in Figma. One other thing we can notice is that the icons have consistent stroke weight and can be made bigger since they are vectors. The images can also be made much bigger without losing quality. To prove the interface generated by Galileo AI is 100% compatible with Figma, we'll create components and use the prototyping features. Since this isn't a Figma tutorial, the process will be sped up so you will save time. First, we'll create variants for the latte cards. When the cards are clicked, they will shrink and a checkmark symbol will appear. Then, the mail call to action will be turned into a component and given a hover animation. The next step is to add these new components to the screen. Once that is done, we'll create a second screen displaying the lattes selected and the QR code. Once you select the lattes and click on the call to action, you'll be taken to the second screen and, as a bonus, we'll make the back button functional. In a few minutes, we managed to create a functional prototype from just a prompt. We didn't have to spend hours choosing a font or a color palette. The AI did it all for us.
Galileo AI needs more fine-tuning until it generates high-quality user interfaces, but it is clearly on the right path. In its current form, Galileo AI is great for jump-starting the ideation process as it can be used to quickly generate different designs from which you can pick the best parts and later use them in your work. The source file of this design, plus many other assets, can be downloaded for free on the UIBoat website.